My name is Michiel van Dorst. I'm captain on the Boeing 737 and EVP flight operations for KLM. Today we are at the KLM Cruise Center preparing our flight to London Heathrow. A very short but very busy sector that's always interesting to fly. Okay, the gate is Delta 27. We have 155 passengers on board and our estimated zero fuel weight is around 55 tons. Flying time today is 46 minutes. Stansted is our alternate. And the block fuel is 7,700 kilograms. So Ernst, the routing today will take us via Gorlo departure, Gorlo 3 Victor of runway 36 left, and then the usual route to London Heathrow, where 09 right is in use. Before every flight, we have to look at the weather. We don't, we don't only look at the weather of London, but we also look at the weather of Amsterdam Schiphol, and of course our alternate airports, which today is London Stansted. So the weather in London Heathrow is excellent at the moment, 18 degrees centigrade and a QNH of 1011. So, Ernst, looking at the weather, looking at the notoms, do you consider extra fuel? No, you're happy with it? Well, I'm happy as well. So maybe we can take the flight plan out of the computer. So we checked our flight plan in the cruise center, now we're at the aircraft, ready to do our pre-flight scan flows. So we start by putting in the origin airport and the destination airport, London Heathrow. The departure route today is from runway 36 left. Air traffic control has cleared us on the Gorlo 3 Victor departure. I'll put it in here. After I put in the departure route, I will check it in the computer and so will my first officer. As you can see, the total route, which is also on the flight plan, is already in the flight management computer. Once I've checked it, I will activate and execute the route and the color will turn amber to make sure that this flight is pre-programmed well. Today's flight is flight level 240. And the wind at flight level 240 is 232 with uh, 34 knots. In the computer we also put the cost index. Today it is 30. The cost index gives the optimum efficiency between an efficient flight and speed. The higher the cost index, the higher the speed. Hello, Hond. Good day, the pre departure check is completed. Like to lift the aircraft. You may lift the aircraft. We are over a few minutes ready. Take a load sheet. Yeah, go on. He is slightly heavier. I will give you 1009 for the for the verkeersleiding. So we received a load sheet from the company, and we are now going to enter the weights of the aircraft in the flight management computer. KLM 1009, Amsterdam London Heathrow, the Bravo X-ray Kilo, two cockpits and five cabin crew members. The zero fuel weight is 56,201 kilograms, resulting in a gross weight of 63.9 tons. And that's all according to the load sheet as well. 22.3 is 5.47. Kau klein mee erin, ja? Ja. Oké, de crew briefing ernst. Ready? Ja, yep, maar ready. Oké, okay, today we are Delta 27, which is here. The pushback driver will push us to the left, and then we will taxi out to runway 36 left. Taxi route today, 
will be via Bravo all the way around right via Whiskey 5 onto the beginning of runway 36 left then we will make a Gorlo de departure, Gorlo 3 Victor departure the Gorlo 3 Victor departure means at 5 dB of amps we will turn left track 315 at 7.1 amps we will turn left uh, track 271 and at 11 Spikerbore we will turn left 212 to intercept the 242 radial of Spikerbore to Vola and Gorlo Checked. Yeah. so it's all in the computer and it's all in nav systems as well yep. flight level 60 at Vola but I expect air traffic control to, to clear us to a higher level there in case of engine out I uh, would like to proceed straight ahead 1500 feet accelerate and clean up and then on to 2000 feet to return to skip all if you have an engine failure during the standard instrument departure uh, we will fly to 1700 feet which is the minimum safe level uh, accelerate clean up the flaps and then we will fly to 2000 feet as well or any uh, 1000 feet we will reach the minimum sector altitude during the whole departure is 1700 feet uh, Aaron, the threat for our flight today, it's a very short flight, it's yeah. very busy with air traffic control, so we have to keep our eyes open. Uh, below 10,000 feet, of course, we have standard cockpit silence, but I think it's good to have that during almost all of the flight on this yeah. busy sector. I agree. You agree? Yeah, I Do agree. Do you have any other threats for me? Uh, no. All right, let's go. Let's go. So, ready for the checklist? I'm ready. Pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist. Oxygen. Test at 100%. Same here. Navigation transfer display switches. Normal and auto. Window heat on, pressurization mode selector, auto, flight instruments. Heading 184, 1013, I want to put 1500 feet on. Checked. Same here, F parking brake. Set. Engine style levers. Uh, cut off. Pre flight check, super lit. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Michiel van Dorst, the captain on this flight to London Heathrow. At present it is our departure time, we are ready to commence our push back and start the engines. Um, then we will be taxiing out to our takeoff runway for a flight of 46 minutes to London Heathrow. And with this flying time it looks like we are going to be landing nicely on time at Heathrow Airport. For now I would like to wish you a very warm welcome on board of this KLM aircraft. We really appreciate your business and we are going to do our utmost to keep you flying with us in the future as well. So get him, Ellen. Ready. Uh, Pre-flight checklist. Hebben we gedaan. gedaan. Uh, before start checklist. Before start checklist. Stel niet even ready melden. Ja, meld maar. Start up. Kelman 009 at Delta 27. We are ready. Kelman 009 Delta 27. Your start up is approved. One to one decimal eight, please. Start approved. One to one eight. Kelman 009. Bye bye. Before start checklist, the Before flight deck door is uh, closed and locked. Fuel is uh, 7,600 kilograms. Pumps on, passenger signs on, windows locked. Locked MCP. It's uh, V2 149er, heading 003, flight level 60. Check take off speeds. V1 143, V rotate 145, V2 149er. City pre flight. Completed. Rudder and Ederon trim. Free and zero. Taxi and take a briefing. Completed. College light is on. Before start check is completed. Check. Good morning, Kelman 009er at Delta 27. Request in pushback. Kelman 009, the company on the other side is making a push pull. When they are clear, the pushback and startup approved. Roger, when the company uh, on the left is uh, clear, then the pushback approved. Kelman 009. Hello, ground. Position Zeg in Papa 3. As the company behind us, when that has uh, cleared for after the push pull, we will be uh, ready for push back and in. Delta, after the company will push pull, stand by, yeah, that's the mass traffic. Parking brake released. Stand by. Thank you. Please push. Clear start, 2 and 1. Ah. We're just starting as 2 and 1. Okay, and start engine number 2. Push number 2. Delta 620, after the company behind is clear, the pushback approved. Pushback is completed. Set the back brakes. Come to your standstill, set back and brakes. And Delta 620, uh, stand by for the push back. Parking brake set, you may disconnect. Uh, disconnect on all position, and stand by for the visual signal. All in position, standing by for visual signal on our right. KLM 591. KLM 591. 
First, uh, Kalem, one to Papa, give way to the triple seven for Kating. Go, go. Give way to the Kalem, one. Kalem, 591, ready for immediate. Negative 30 seconds, Kalem, 591. Roger. Start to cut out. 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 Start to cut Taxi left turn Alpha, number one, Arch and Alpha, eight one, you're seven. LM597, contact. So we're now starting the engine. Air is blown into the engine, so the N2 rotor will start blow, uh, b turning. The N1 rotor is starting turning well, and the moment the N2 reaches 25%, I will put in fuel. Alpha, stand by, one to one, a decimal seven. Alpha, two, one, seven, one, seven, seven, one, seven, seven, one, seven, nine. Now we have ignition, and the engine is running. Start to cut out. Delta 620, push back on the right. Got an all clear on the right. Push back on Alpha, we have to build in Delta 620. Speed by 429 at Alpha 21, left on Alpha. Alpha 21, left Alpha. Fab 5. Fab 5. At China Predator 1, 037. The stand is Sierra 9 and 6, and at Sierra 2, hold short runway 06. Before taxi two. checklist. Before taxi checklist. Generators on. Probe heat on. Anti ice off. Isolation valve auto. And start switches continuous. Recall. Checked. Checked. Auto brake RTO. Flaps. Five green lights. Engine start levers. Idle detent. Flight controls. Checked. Ground equipment. Clear. Four. Taxi uh, checklist complete. Check. Kelman 009, zero zero request taxi. And Kelman 009, zero zero uh, taxi Quebec and Zulu, runway 36 left. Quebec and Zulu, runway 36 left. Kelman 009. Zero zero via Quebec and Zulu to 36 left, which is a little amendment to the crew uh, briefing that we'll have to taxi via Zulu. And Kelman 1 to Papa, you can follow the owner air on Alpha. After go back and we turn left, takes you all the way around. All right, so we have to make sure this is a hot spot, which means it's a critical point that when crossing the bridge we have to take the far left yeah. uh, to not enter the active runway. Yeah, check. Yeah. All right. That's clear. Right's clear. Legs released. KLM 591 Aver, standard push call. Yep. Kelemon 009, in the right turn, give way to the company Ember Air at Alpha 8. Huh? In the right turn, giving way to the company Ember Air into Alpha 8. Kelemon 009. To give way to the Ember Air. Uh, it's the one for gating over there at Echo 1. We have to give way to that uh, Ember Air. Here you can see that Schiphol is a very busy airport with two departure runways at the same time operating and one landing runway. Cabin crew, take your seats. Gil, cabin is ready, take your seats is announced. Thanks. <coughs> Good morning, KLM 1009. We are approaching Victor Mike, ready for departure. KLM 009, Victor 4. Victor 4, KLM 1009. Okay, to Victor 4, we're clear to Victor 4. Yeah, clear to Victor 4. Yeah, Checked. And, uh, Ok, Ernst, so we're approaching the runway to Victor 4. Gorlo 3, Victor departure, 5.1 Amsterdam VUR. We turn left 315, uh, 7.1 left 271, and then further left. Uh, engine out is uh, standard 1500 feet, 2000 before we turn. In the SID, we climb to 1700 feet and then to 2000 feet to return to Schiphol. Shit. Victor 4, Tower, Romanet 275. Victor 4, Romanet 275, Kelly 1009, bye bye. Victor 4, 36 left. As Shit. calculated in the performance. Final is clear. Tower, good morning, Kelly 1009 is approaching Victor 4 in sequence, ready. Tower 1009, line up in sequence, 36 left. Line up in sequence, 36 left, Victor 4, Kelly 1009. -er. Zit een grote hoeveelheid vogels uh, zuid van de center van de ja. threshold. Als die zuid is, is het goed. Ja. Before take-off checklist. Before take-off checklist, de flaps. Five green lights. Stabilizer trim. 5.5 units. 
Is the B4 take of checklist completed? Check. Three six left. Victor four. Final is clear. So I put on a weather radar. Shall I keep the terrain? You keep the terrain, right. Park brake set. Check. Zero zero nine, maintain this frequency. Three six left, clear takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Three six left, stay on the frequency. Kilo one zero zero nine. Cleared. Checked. Takeoff. In van links. Trust set. Knots. Checked. V1. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up. L now. Gear is up. Are you about Alpha? Come on, time should be speed. One two, can one zero zero nine, or bye bye. Clean up. And one, clean up speed, reduce climb. Flaps one. Flaps one. Parcher, good morning, KLM one zero zero nine at two thousand feet, go low three, Victor. Hello, Flaps one, one set. Climb one three zero. Flaps up. Climb level one three zero, KLM one zero zero nine. Flaps up. Flight level one three zero. Checked. Flaps are up. Speed to 50. Passing transition altitude. Reset altimeter to standard. Standard. And standard. Half take of checklist. Half take of checklist. Engine bleeds. On. Packs. Auto. Landing gear. Up and off. Flaps up. No lights. Altimeters, standard, standard. Three three times. Times. checked, after take of checks completed, check. Kelaman 009, contact Amsterdam, 12575, Haru. 12575, Kelaman 009, bye bye. Speed 304. Uh, checked. Lights off. So good morning, KLM 1009. Are we passing level 108? Climbing level 130. KLM 1009, good morning. Climb flight level 190. Climb flight level 190. KLM 1009. Flight level 190. 90 is checked. So it's a little bit turbulent. I will go to fly a little bit lower speed, pushing the level change button, bring back the speed to 280 knots, so we are less susceptible to the turbulence. Level change. Check. MSP speed. 
And of course the resulting climb rate is higher as well, as you can see here, 5100 feet per minute, which equals about 1.6 kilometers. So what you see is normally during the flight we will follow the FMC for all, every uh, type of route that can be predicted. Unpredicted part, like the turbulence, we have to manually input the autopilot via the mode control panel. Ten degrees to the left, heading 227 and climbing flight level 240, confirm. Flight level 240, heading select, heading 227. Modification ref show 118480, Kelly 1009, Ref so. Dag ref so, confirm. Check, confirm. Execute. LNAV. One zero one zero. London, good morning, KLM one zero zero nine. Fly level two three zero inbound ref show. KLM one zero zero nine. Okay, your controls. I'll program the route. Yeah, my controls. Ernst has given me the weather information at uh, Heathrow and there we can see that runway 09 left is in use. So I will program the arrival at uh, Heathrow. It's a Lamborn 3 Alpha arrival. Transition is Lamborn. Of course I'll have to check every step along the route. As you can see on this screen, it's all there. The Lamborn 3 Alpha arrival takes us via Tripo, Sabre, Brazo, to Tawny, and then on to Lamborn, where a holding can be expected at uh, London Heathrow. Uh, as you can see, there's some speed limit points along the route. 12 miles before Lamborn, we have to have a maximum speed of 250 knots. You can see here at Lamborn 12 that its maximum speed is also in the FMC. Climb level 240, Kelly 1009. Okay, level 240. Checked. Put an altitude intervention. And one VNF speed. So what happens here? I'll switch it back here uh, to 240 on the uh, pressurization panel. Yeah. I programmed the computer, so my controls, you Your can check controls? it flight. Uh, yeah, I'll check it. LM1009, report your heading to London, 129.06. Look at 129 or 6, LM1009, bye-bye. London, good morning, LM1009, we are maintaining flight level 240, radar heading 260. KLM 1009, thank you. You can resume all navigation for Sabre. You can resume all navigation Sabre, KLM 1009. All navigation to Sabre. Confirm direct Sabre. Affirm. Execute. LNAV. KLM 1009, when you're ready, descend flight level 150, level by Sabre. We're ready down to level 150 to be leveled by Sabre, KLM 1009. When ready down to flight level 150 at Sabre. 150 is checked. What you see here is that we have a lot of air traffic control interaction, so we have to do a lot of manual programming of the autopilot. I just put in a flight level 150. We have to be level flight level 150 at the point Sabre. It's already pre-programmed in the FMC, 
So the aircraft will decelerate automatically and will start descending. Uh, the moment we have reached the point of descent, the top of descent, the FMC has calculated itself how far before Sable we will have to descend to be level flight level 150 at Saber. And there will be a flat 30 landing, outer brakes too. I'd like to do a crew brief. All right. Yeah. So, we will be flying at London Heathrow. At London Heathrow, we will be flying, as mentioned, at Lamborn 3 Alpha arrival via Tripo. We have to expect flight level 150 at Sabre. It's already in the computer. Speed limit point 250 knots, and then to Lamborn. At Lamborn, we could expect a holding, which is left turns and inbound track 264. It's not programmed. After Lamborn, We can expect, but it will be done via heading, a heading on a downwind, and then they'll vector us for an approach on runway 09 left. The inbound course are 09 or 1. Four mile, we have to be at 1400 feet, and we have to get uh, keep speed 160 knots until 4 nautical mile. Then we can reduce. Decision altitude today here at London is 280 uh, feet, 280 and north side. If we should make a go around, um, we'll have to climb and at 1580 feet or D0 retard. Be retard checked or D0 before IAA whichever is later we have to turn left heading 038 and climb 3000 feet yep. sectors at London during the approach phase it will be 2.1 and 2.2 and in the approach it will be 2.1 in the missed approach will be in uh, minimum safe altitude of 2,100 feet. 1009, contact London, 123 decimal 9. 123 decimal 9, and get 1009, and bye-bye. Bye-bye. Launch shuttle 2511, contact London, hello The taxi route, I expect to be vacating the runway at Alpha 7 or Alpha 6, and then we can taxi via taxiway Alpha on to Lima and I expect us to be uh, crossing the runway 09 right at November Bravo 3 all right and then we taxi on to our stand and it will be probably here all right so we don't we sh are not allowed to cross the runway without uh, air traffic control consent so the threats here at London very busy airport we have to keep our act together um, Parallel runways, although one is used for departure and the other is for arrival. And the taxiing is always busy. We have to make sure that we're not crossing an active runway. Do you consider any other threats for this? No, I think that that's pretty much it. All right. So the, uh, we've got enough fuel for London Stansted if we have to divert. The notams we already discussed at the cruise center is nothing here uh, for our flight. Okay. Crew briefing completed. My RT. Your RT. Would you check it? I'll check him. On the hello, Kalen 1009, and we're passing level 200, descending level 150, inbound Sabre. Kalen 1009, Roger, uh, hold at Lambourn, delay is around 5 minutes, descend flight level 140. Descend flight level 140, uh, hold at Lambourn, delay approximately 5 minutes, Kalen 1009. -er. Flight level 140. Shall I program the hold for you? Yeah, if you, yeah. Lamborn holds 264, left hand turns. That's what you told. And the estimated further clearance time is 27. That's five, five minutes, so 27. Great. The best P215. Descent checklist. Descent checklist. Descent checklist, pressurization, landing at shoot 100, recall is checked, outer brake is 2 is set, landing data, I got a fear at 144, you got it as well, 280 on the minimums and 1010 is already pre-selected. Approach briefing. Completed. Descent check is completed. Check. So just like I mentioned before, it's very busy at Heathrow. We can expect a holding over at Lamborn. You can see the holding here. We've also programmed it in the flight management computer. 
And here you can see it on the route we are going to fly. Shadow 1009, descent flight level 120. Descent flight level 120, okay, 1009. Flight level 120. Shall I switch on the engine in the ice? Yes. Shadow 1009, descent flight level 110, level 5 miles before landing. Descent flight level 110, 5 miles before land, or we'll be level. KLM uh, 1009. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning from the Vardek First Officer. My name is Jens Rensing, so more information for the destination on Heathrow. A couple of minutes ago we started our descent, we just spoke to air traffic control. At this moment there is an inbound delay of approximately five minutes. It means in a couple of minutes we will enter a halt. Lose this time and after the five minutes of uh, past we're able to start the uh, final approach. We'll be landing in easterly direction today and total flying time remaining with the delay is a little more than 20 minutes. Expected landing time 20 minutes to 11 local time. There's a couple of minutes ahead of our scheduled arrival time, however we do need that time to arrive at our parking position. The weather for Heathrow at this moment a light southerly wind, temperatures 21 degrees Celsius. Speed to zero. Enjoy your last part of the flight, I wish you a pleasant day. 1000 feet to level off. Speed 2 to 0. I'll take it a few degrees to the right to avoid. Heading select. KLM 1009, deviating 10 degrees to the right to avoid build up. And uh, I think in 10 miles we can turn back on track again. KLM 1009, you're anticipating to hold at Lambourne? Yes, we're anticipating a hold at Lambourne, KLM 1009. KLM 1009, Roger, we'll report you weather avoidance to Heathrow Director and uh, turn back to Lambourne when you can. Yeah, I will. KLM 1009. Canal 119-725. Switching 119-725. KLM 1009. Bye bye. 2 bed 6-7-5. Heathrow Director, KLM 1009. Deviating 10 degrees to the right to avoid build-up. In about 8 miles we can turn back to Lamborn again to expect a hold there. KLM 1009, thanks. And uh, hold Lamborn delay is about 5 minutes. Uh, descent flight level 100. Descending flight level 100 to hold at Lambourne, KLM 1009. Flight level 100. Right, flight level 100 is seen. My RT. Your RT. Total so passengers. Flight level 100. Yeah. KLM 1009, expensive Boeing 738. Yes. A from KLM 1009. Okay, direct Lambourne. Checked. Checked. LNF. LNF. So we've programmed the computer again to fly direct to Lamborn. And that's when we switch on the LNAV lateral navigation. It will connect to the flight management computer and the aircraft will turn and go straight to Lamborn. As you can see, there's a lot of manual input we have to do to the autopilot due to the unpredictable traffic patterns at uh, London Heathrow. Altitude acquire. Checked. M3 speed. Well, actually, London Heathrow is quite predictable, but there's still a lot of interactions and directions of ATC. And that requires for us a lot of manual input to the autopilot panel. We uh, just spoke to the company, we can expect to stand 421. Stand 421, okay, so the taxi route is uh, as briefed, and then 421, which is the last one to the right. Switch on the lights for the hold. Yeah. KLM 1009, make a left orbit now, back to land for knee setting 260 degrees, speed 2209. Speed 220, a left orbit now, back to Lambourne, leave Lambourne heading 260 degrees. Kilo 1009. Okay, left turn, heading 260. Checked. I'll put the bank to, fifth, uh, to 20. Descent flight level 90. Kilo 1009. Flight level 90. 90 checked. Vertical speed. Vertical speed. Minus 1000. 1000 is checked. I put it. on the bank to 20 to make sure that in the orbit uh, we'll be flying over at Lamborn again. Perfect. So let the cabin prepare for landing. Yeah. Cabin crew, prepare for landing. Triple seven, you can you send flight of a minus zero? 
Looks like we're going to be exactly over at Lamborn. Nicely done. And so I'll be making an automatic landing at uh, Heathrow, 09 left. So it will be dual autopilot. Okay. KLM 1009, flight level 80. Descent flight level 80, KLM 1009. Flight level 80. Checked. Vertical speed minus 1000. Checked, 1000 feet to level off. Tire above 10. Set engine anti ice off. Engine anti ice off. Check. Out to the choir. Check. Out to the hold. KLM 1009, 24 miles, 09 left, descent to altitude 6000 feet, QNH 1009. And 6000 feet, QNH 1009, KLM 1009. KLM 1009, contact direct with your call sign on 120.4, goodbye. 1204, we'll call KLM 1009, bye-bye. 6000 feet, 1009, 1009, it's checked, 1204. Retard M3 speed. Checked. Road checklist. Road checklist. Road checklist. Altimeters 1009, 123, 7300 now. And my side. Road check is complete. Check. Back to good morning, KLM 1009. KLM 1009, good morning to you. Speed 180 knots, you're landing on 9 left, unfortunately, and it's 23 miles. Uh, copy the track miles and uh, speed 180 confirmed, KLM 1009. Confirmed, thank you. Speed 206, flaps 1. Flaps one. Speed one mark. Checked. Flaps one set. Flaps one, uh, two. Flaps two. Speed one eighty. Check. Flaps two is set. 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 Check. feet. is checked. KLM 1009, left turn 180 degrees, descent 4000 feet. After 180, descent 4000 feet, KLM 1009. Heading 180, 4000 feet. Checked. With ILS on my account. Checked. KLM 1009, turn continue left turn 125 degrees, and establish the localizer descent on the glide 9 left. For the left 125, to uh, lock on the localizer 09 left and uh, descend on the ILS. KLM 1009. Okay, heading 125. IAA, de ILS. Is goede ident. Zijn het feit my side. Goede ident. Ik probeer een full capture te maken. Ja. Ietsje lager die centrate. Alles staat aan de goede kant. Localizer en de glidepad is alive. KLM 1009, de centrale voorkant is 3000 feet. 3000 feet. Alles staat goed, hè? Dit wint zet de localizer. Voorlok. Ja, dat de clouds again. Four lock. Checked. One thousand feet to level off. Checked. Did you make turbulence? Yeah. Switch to the ILS as well. Yeah. We zijn nog niet clear to descend with the glide, hè? Ja, waren we wel. Ik ga het confirmeren. KLM 1009, confirm, clear to uh, descend with the ILS. KLM 1009, AFM, descend ILS, speed 9160 knots, so 4 DME. Speed 160 until 4, KLM 1009. KLM 1009, confirm, 9187. Two lot of pilots. 187, KLM 1009, away. 
Let's uh, check. Four lock line slope. 187 is on. Speed 160 to 4. Yeah. Uh, flaps 5. Flaps 5. Speed 5 mark. Check. Flaps 5 set. Tower lock element 0, 0, 9. Only ILS 0, 9 and left. Element 0, 0, 9. Hello and continue approach. The approach. Element 0, 0, 9. We will have drag way here on the 160 to go. Flaps 10. Flaps 10. 3,000 feet from this approach is set. 2,500. Cabin crew, take your seats. Take your seats announced. Gear down. Gear down. Flaps 15. Flaps 15. Speed 160. 60 checked. Gears down, flaps 15 set. CML. Flaps 30. Flaps 30. Speed fast. Checked. Command, flare armed. Checked. Kijk, alles staat erop. 1000. Thuis is checked. Checklistje? Landing checklist. Landing checklist, and start switches. Continuous. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Down. Flaps. 30 green light. Line check is completed. Check. Five hundred. Not yet. Cleared. Uh, we've got the proceeding in the runway inside. Check. Approaching minimum. Hello, one to blow nine. Runway zero nine left. Clear to land. Service winds east to lead less than five. We're clear to land, 09 left. Get on 009. Landing and we cleared. Checked. 100. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Speed break up. Reverse normal. Out the brakes off. Out the brakes off. Sixty knots. Thirty. Hello, one double nine. Call one two one nine. Bye bye. One two one nine. Hello, one zero zero nine. Bye bye. Ground low, KLM 1 0 0 9, Alpha 7. KLM 1 0 9, left on Alpha, hold short of Link 28, stand 4 to 1. Alpha uh, to the left and hold short Link 28, stand 4 to 1. KLM 1 0 0 9. -er. Okay, left on Alpha to hold short Link 28, checked. And, and the gate will be 4 to 1. Yeah. Alright, great. Uh, and just for demonstration purposes, we did an auto land. However, of course, normal preference is to do a manual landing. Turn right on Alpha here. Check. The uniform golf, clock and free one nine, thank you. Uniform golf, thank you. United, uh, Alex, two Berlin, tell final. United 900 left on Bravo, yeah. hold short of a kilo. Left on Bravo, hold short of a kilo. Combinatie van wind en uh, ja, wake turbulence. Bouw, en wake, ja, precies. Then one double nine left at link two eight. Hold November Bravo one short at zero nine right. Left link two eight. Hold short uh, zero nine uh, right at November Bravo one. Okay, uh, one zero zero nine. Okay, left at link two eight. To hold short uh, zero nine right at November two one Bravo. November Bravo one. It's November uh, Bravo one. Beginning ah, yeah. of the runway. Yeah. It's a little bit different than what you uh, briefed. 
the brief to come raft of four, so we'll All right. cross at the beginning. For now, we'll turn left at link 28. Yeah. Starting the APU. Check. Send 421. Yeah, check. The system is on. System is on, great. Okay, for the lights. Lights. 800 with winglets. Yeah, that's a good one. And the slides. Cabin crew, disarm slides. Parking brake set. Checked. Power change. Running down. Let me heal. Slice is down. Thank you well, Flavio. Cabin crew, doors may be opened. Okay, shut down checklist. Shut down checklist. Fuel pumps. Well, I'll remain one off because of the APU. And the rest is off. Probe heat, auto, hydraulic panel set. Flaps up. Parking brake. Set. And tire levers. Good off. The weather radar is off. And off on my side. Shadow check is completed. Check. Okay. 